Okay, hi everybody. We're doing the Veladisi, which is a, a long distance cycle ride, mostly off road from uh, Roscoff to the Spanish border, uh, about a thousand miles. Um, so, Andy, what do you think of the uh, routes that we've done so far? Uh, really good, uh, quite challenging, um, especially if you don't like gravel. Um, it's a very good way of, if you've got a very nice bike, uh, destroying it in a very small amount of time. <laughs> um, it's lovely and safe, um, not many people about, so it's uh, a great way, great way of getting around. Excellent. Now, Gary, you planned all the routes because some of them aren't actually following totally the route. So what, what have you got to say about those? Well, we haven't got lost yet, that's all I can say, but the routes have really been very good. They've been off-road most of the time, a few hills, but very little hills, but most of the time they've been nice and flat along canals and also into nice little villages. So I would say it's been a brilliant route so far. And John, what do you think about the places we've been to see, accommodation, things like that? I've really enjoyed it. I love the, the French, I love the quirkiness of the French. And last night's accommodation topped it so far. Maybe it wasn't in the third place, but sharing a, uh, a little camping hut with a herd of deer was just amazing. And I think one of us managed to get a little snorkel one, didn't they, Andy? I did actually kiss a deer, yes. First time ever. And I found it quite emotional. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm really fond of getting in touch with my inner self at the moment. Excellent. Well, we'll, we'll look forward to giving you another update in a few days' time. Okay, See yeah. you all soon. <laughs>
and uh, forecast to get up to 40 degrees um, and you can see um, the guys here are quite quite hot um, luckily we've been riding through these uh, forests and had a, a bit of shade um, and then uh, after Biritz we'll part company with the Vela DC and uh, we've got uh, three days in the Pyrenees which is going to be a bit of a challenge and one of the reasons we're doing this is uh, obviously for a personal challenge but we're also doing it to raise money for Cornwall Blood Bikes uh, which is an amazing charity uh, which does work for the NHS completely voluntary completely run by volunteers so we'll put the link uh, up on the post or in the bio so you know if you can chuck in a quid or two that'll be absolutely fantastic and it'll help spur us on to the finish um, see you soon cheers King Andy Okay, hi guys, uh, this is day 12 of the Vela DC and we've actually got all the way to Biarritz, much to our amazement, um, which is pretty much the end of the Vela DC because we're on the Spanish border. Um, we'll be departing from uh, this and we'll be heading into the Pyrenees uh, and across to Santander. Luckily we've got a rest day. So we thought we'd share a few quick tips of uh, things that we've found on the way. Um, so the guys, that we're just going to chip in as we go along and um, see, see what we can find about. Um, so shall I start off? And one of the things that first amazed me was that you can actually do this without sat and have some maps. Um, and you can ride off road from Santander, uh, so from Roscoff, all the way down to here. Um, completely off road. It's absolutely incredible. Fantastic roads, trails, mm. all really well marked. Mm. Get off the ferry and away you go. Mm. What do you, any of the other guys? Well, yeah, yes. I agree with that. Uh, either on a mountain bike, uh, you don't need a posh gravel bike, just a hybrid mountain bike, electric bike, any sort of bike will do really, uh, other than an out and out racer. Um, I would just, suggest that it needs to be a bicycle rather than a unicycle. <laughs> yeah, probably, <laughs> but you don't need a special bike. And uh, We've seen so many electric uh, Bikes out electric here. bikes have been really amazing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, actually, yeah, the yeah. amount of people mm. doing this on yeah. electric bikes yeah. who probably don't mm. ride bikes normally. Mm. Incredible. And bikes. you don't, and you, and like Steve said, you don't need a sat nav. Mm. Just got to keep the sea to your right and follow the signs, mm. and uh, you'll mm. get here. It mm. is brilliant. Really, really good experience. Mm. Yeah. You will meet some very interesting people along the way. Um, for instance, I met a German who travelled all the way from some place in Osas all the way across to um, the west coast of, uh, of France, near where we are, in Aquitaine, and uh, he had an interest in architecture. So I had a lovely conversation with him about German architecture on the west coast of the, uh, of the Antique, and uh, why the Germans always seem to hide their architecture on the ground and bunkers. But uh, <laughs> we had a good chat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? We've only come across one angry driver, 750 miles, one guy tooted and shouted at us. Yeah. No, everybody else really, really courteous. Mm. They stop at all the junctions when you're trying to cross a crossing, mm. don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to say the, the sand, sand dune, the, we, we, we've been to the, uh, the biggest sand dune in Europe, which was big. Very and big. I, you know, I, I really did enjoy that. But I would say, it's not one for children, and um, you can't really build sandcastles because <laughs> it's very fine. <laughs> sand. Disappointing. It's People will tell you before you come you're in France, there'll be loads of cafes, loads of bike shops, rubbish. You see nothing. I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. we went days, so be prepared if you're going to do it. Make sure you take all your provisions with you so you've got them because all day you may see no cafe, no bike shops, mm. nothing. Yeah, I, I go along that side. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, mm. maybe mm. if you've got the time, go on a foraging course before you come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can live on nuts yeah. and berries and, and lichen yeah. on tree yeah. bark yeah. while you're going through the forest and landers. Yeah. Especially yeah. on Sundays and Mondays yes. when obviously everything's closed. Sundays yeah, and Mondays is a closed day. I mean, Sunday does follow Monday. No, Monday follows Sunday, and now close days. You will we'll, find well. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a little thing, uh, a lay date on our bikes, and just show you what bikes and kits we've taken. But the one thing we did was Andy oiled our chains every day, mm. up to now, and we're probably going to jinx it. We've had no problems with the bikes. We have one puncture in 750 mm. miles, yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah, incredible, really. Gary's got a a, a loose, loose set of uh, front wheel bearings. 
but yeah. that will get him to Santander. Yeah. And if it doesn't, we'll just have to leave him. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. 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 Just, just leave somewhere. him there. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, Bordeaux. Yeah. I love Bordeaux. Uh, the Bordeaux area. I mean, I know it's famous for its rugby and its docks. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Was, was but it was great, wasn't it? Was it was great. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I mean, tonight we're actually celebrating our trip and we've had a lovely red wine. It's a Chilean Merlot. And I think the Chileans could tell the French a few things about yeah. how to make wine. Should you be saying oh, that? Dental what? floss. Don't forget, if you come, bring <laughs> dental floss because fantastic um, washing line. Andy's tip, magic. I mean, that's just been great. Um, we've done this trip. We've stayed in accommodation every night on a budget of £25 a night and we've hit that budget yeah. and stayed in some amazing places. Yeah, so I've yeah. got to say, mm. we can sleep for £25 a night. Yes. We spend £150 a night on booze and meals. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I would suggest bringing uh, rehydrated foods, uh, ration packs, mm. something along those lines. Research your accommodation because a 10 out of 10 is could be a 10 out of 10. Depend, just remember it's all about relativity. <laughs> absolutely. So if you absolutely. pay five pounds for accommodation yeah. Yeah. and you have yeah. a room, maybe a bed, then that's a 10 out of 10. So we're going to have a rest day tomorrow, yeah. guys, and uh, we'll come back to you with an update when we hit the Pyrenees and hit the mountains, which may not be so cheerful. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Take care. Bye for now. Hi guys, uh, okay so we're in the Pyrenees now, um, we set off 7 o'clock this morning um, from France because the heat was predicted to 40 degrees um, and they were right, hit the steepest ramp of the day and uh, it hit 40 degrees. Um, it was a bit scary going through the, uh, around the Spanish border where the, we were on some main roads which weren't too nice and then we hit the coast road which was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, we managed to stop at the bottom and uh, get a little swimming and then we did a five mile climb up to the hotel that we're at tonight. So we just thought we'd show you the, the bikes and here we go. Oops. <laughs> so the first one's a specialised diverge carbon comp and uh, it's got restrap bags on it. Uh, front bag, top bag and a uh, uh, tube bag and then a Planet X towel bag and perform superbly. Um, this is uh, Andy's Canyon Endurance um, SL. So it's kind of light gravel, but has actually coped fantastically well with the tracks and trails. And of course he's showing his own now on the tarmac roads. They've obviously all got disc brakes. Um, Andy's just got a little front bag. Um, lifeline which i think is um wiggle um top tube bar and a planet x bag and you can see all these um detritus that he couldn't get in strapped on top and then if we come over here and then gary's got um a cube new road heaviest bike of the lot don't seem to stop him up the hills um i think he got his front bag off ebay yeah, uh, something like that uh top tube bag and lifeline bag and again a uh, Planet X bag on the back um, which are fantastic value for money and then our final bike is John's and that's a specialized Roubaix uh, again uh, oh, both Andy's and his have got um, DI2 or the equivalent so electric electric gears and uh, mine's got SRAM SRAM shr on this one uh, he's got Apidura bags so they're all matching uh, to make it look neat and he's got a roll bag on the front top tube um, bar bag and the rear bag on the back of it and as i say all the bags the only maintenance we've really done on the bikes um is um oiling the chain every day uh, i think we've done a little headset adjustment and a couple of bits like that but um so far um you can see the view that we've got from the hotel and uh we're starting to earn here starting to work for our money now guys don't forget raising money for cornwall blood bikes cheers Hi everybody, day 15 on La Vel Uh We've had a, two or three days in uh, Spain now over the Pyrenees um, and we've just gone through Europe's um, earliest recorded heat wave, hit 43 degrees in Biarritz. Uh, how have you found it Andy? Um, yeah, tough going, um, but enjoyable, especially yesterday uh, we got to a petrol station and uh, 
literally 10 minutes after filling up with cold water, it was too hot to pour over my head, which is quite a um, strange experience. Um, but yeah, we, we kept going, uh, just ate away a little bit by a little bit, just drinking and drinking. And I'm glad to say today it's considerably cool. There must only be about 30, 30. Just feels like a spring day, so it's very nice. What about Gary, about you, about the uh, places well, we've been and seen? And Well, we went across the border from France, completely different in the way um, the news cycles over here. It's much more disjointed, um, but amazing views. We managed to get into Bilbao, see the, the Guggenheim Museum, which is really, really good. Um, and we're on the coast today. What more can you ask for? Fantastic. Other cyclists, John? Yeah, I have to say that um, other cyclists. Yeah, there are other cyclists on the road. And uh, I think we have more of a warm welcome coming across the Tamar Bridge from Cornwall to Devon. I have my passport ready. Didn't require it. Didn't really know I was in Spain. Apart from that, they seem to put an O on the end of things like airport. Or, uh, Porto. So we knew we were in Spain. <laughs> but this scenery is amazing. Yeah, let me just, let me just show you where we are. Beautiful. If you can see, it is just absolutely amazing scenery here. Uh, right around. And we've just, just passed that beach down there, which is absolutely round with people from Bilbao. So uh, we're on the final stretch now, a place called Laredo tonight, and then hopefully make it to Santander tomorrow. So see you all soon, guys. See ya. Bye. We finished our Velodicy trip and we're in a field somewhere in Cornwall and um, we just thought you'd give you some um, tips and hints and things that we enjoyed on the trip. So John's going to kick us off uh, with French drivers. So I think it's better to say the first thing you notice when you come off the ferry is the treatment that uh, French drivers give cyclists. Absolutely incredible. Um, very patient, give you lots of room, um, very very tolerant to cycles and cyclists and Make, it all makes it for a much more enjoyable and stress-free uh, sort of uh, event. So, fantastic! I have to say, really, really good. Gary, what, uh, what about the actual trail? Oh, um, well, it's uh, the cycle tracks themselves were absolutely brilliant. The signage was superb. You wouldn't really need a map if you just start to follow the signs. You could end up in uh, Baritz very easily. Um, the uh, the different terrain were very varied and very, very exciting. Um, a lot of things to see along the way. Uh, I think most people could actually do it if they really uh, wanted to, uh, and it'd be quite comfortable. So I would definitely suggest that it's worth looking at. The UV one. Andy? Yeah, uh, read a trip. I mean, don't carry too much kit. I mean, you can if you really want to take everything but the kitchen sink. I think most of us, our kit weighed about eight or 10 kilos. So it meant uh, washing, rotating your gear all the time. But I think it's a, a better way of doing things. And um, there were things I thought I should have uh, brought, but not many. I would, would advise you to bring a quilted jacket though, because it can get very cold in the evenings. <laughs> and it only takes up 50% of your, 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 uh, your, your, your backpack. But yeah, carry the, carry the bare minimum. Um, um, literally just a change of clothes and, uh, and that's it. And keep the toiletries to a minimum. Um, and just always buy stuff on the way. If you really have, hadn't bought, bought enough, you can always go into a supermarket. Um, I, I bought a pair of shorts on the way down because uh, the other ones sort of uh, let me down badly. Um, so, that, you know, you, you are in France. There's always somewhere you can buy bits that you may suddenly require your need. Having, having said that, uh, Sundays and sometimes Mondays was a, a was a bit of a, a mission to find places open and don't expect loads of cycle shops and things on the road because right? most of the route's off road so you're, you're, you're away from some of the towns and villages. Did quite a lot of planning for the route, uh, for the trip. Uh, we pre-booked all our accommodation, we had a budget of £25 a night um, and uh, we had a real vary of accommodation, um, made some amazing places and um, 
nowhere that was really dire, apart from perhaps our first night. Um, we also used Komoot a lot, so that's a really good um, app, it, um, fantastic, that did a lot of good. And an app called Cycle Streets, which is free, uh, thanks David, um, and that's, that was a real boom because it marks all the cycle tracks all over all over Europe really, so uh, Cycle Streets is worth having. Anything else anybody want to add? Um, just that on the journey we've had to drink a lot of water because obviously the heat um, is recommended that you stop quite a lot while you're on the journey. Um, eat lots of food, take lots of water and definitely some sun tan. Good. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sat on a lovely park bench which is horizontal and this would have made a great place for me to sleep because I've slept in some very unusual places for the last two weeks. But it's been a great adventure, I've really, really enjoyed it. And also say, Spain, the north coast of Spain, beautiful, really, really beautiful. Yeah. Not saying that France wasn't, but no. that was a real surprise. Yeah, it was much, yeah. Yeah. That little corner of the Pyrenees is yeah. lovely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Frutata, that was the, oh, the, meal yeah. of the, the meal of the holiday, I think. Absolutely amazing. Wonderful. Great stuff. Well, we'll look to see you. What are some of you guys doing uh, the same soon? And uh, we'll see you all out on a ride near, very soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. All the best.